I will always have my fondest memories of the honors program in a freshman honors seminar where there was just so many different things that has happened in that class. Um, during, I think it was the Greek Athens game, whenever, you know, we were doing our pig sacrifices and Stella brought in her guinea pig. <laughs> it's a little bit hectic, but definitely something to remember. I was in the crowd for the French game and it was just so much fun because my job was to be loud and yell and wreak havoc and just make people mad. And by the end, everyone was mad at me and my group and they were like, off with your head. And so it was just really funny to watch people like struggle. I knew the second and third weeks of playing and I was down. I was like, they might as well just uh, remove me from my uh, clergy seat. But I end up coming back and winning a dice roll. I think I have like a one out of six chance of winning and I get that one out of six chance. <laughs> and uh, pretty much anybody that was against me, I got rid of. The French game was super fun, and I hated being Lafayette, for being honest. I did not want that role, but um, it was honestly fun, and the fact that I didn't die, people tried to kill me multiple times. I'd say I was doing my job if they weren't liking what I was saying, so that's probably my favorite memory. The movie events with honors. <laughs> um, my freshman year, we went and saw Tenet and then we went and discussed it afterward and it was an amazing movie and the dis getting to talk about it afterward was so fun. And then um, this year we did the same with Dune, both amazing movies and great discussions and really interesting conversations. I went on the Europe by Rails trip and while we were there, we were trying the different ice creams in all of the different countries and so it became a Facebook war to see who could find the best dessert. So. And who won that Facebook war, Kayla? Me! While we were in Poland, I heard the ting ting as we were walking into the full market, and I knew that sound, and it was a blacksmith. And I said, I looked at Dan and Austin, and I said, we have to go to this blacksmith shop. So we did, and uh, both of what Austin and I got, you know, kind of small and compact and could fit in a suitcase. Dan, on the other hand, being the tall person he is, decided he needed a weapon to match his size. So he bought a war hammer. That was about this big. We tried to ship it in Germany, but the post office refused to. So what we did was we put it in my suitcase and it stuck out about the two feet. And uh, we put it on the conveyor belt to say our bags goodbye. McFall was sure that we would never see that hammer again. And then when we got back to Wichita, my bag came out and I remember we saw it. I went and grabbed it and we yelled, McFall! And I pulled it out and we were just holding the war hammer in the airport and all McFall could do was laugh and shake his head.